Phoebe and almost everything in my home has been purchased secondhand. Whether it's Facebook marketplace or antiques markets or charity shops or whatever. So in this video, I want to share with you all of my favorite things that I've got. And I'll also be sharing with you the things that I'm currently on the lookout for. Because let's be honest, I'm always looking. And I'm always looking to change things, even sometimes to replace things I already have. So let me share with you this big kind of like thrift haul of all of these things that really has taken quite a few years for me to accumulate. So it's probably best to start off with my most recent purchase, which is this console table. I got it on Facebook Market place it's from the 18th century and it's very aged and I like its rustic look it bows in the middle where it's obviously been like weighed down over the years I know that would put a lot of people off but I kind of like it it adds to the vibe of how like worn down and used it is and I like that now I found this on Facebook marketplace but turns out the guy selling it is on Instagram. So he told me he lists things every week. I think it's once a week. And he tends to post them on Instagram first, I think. So I'm following him now and I wanna see what else he has because he has a lot of good stuff. It, sometimes I find with these Facebook Marketplace people, they're just random. But he's got like a bit of a vibe going so you can really kind of know what, what to expect with him. So I'm happy with that. I think I paid about 450 pounds for it. So it's definitely not the cheapest item, but it's really big. I'm not all about getting stuff just the cheapest possible thing because that's how you end up with stuff that, that isn't quite right or has compromises. And I feel like buying one thing once the right way, the right price, is better. So I suppose staying in this area, um, this lamp, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you'll know that I'm in my lamp era. I'm obsessed with lamps. I'm just buying, I basically am buying at least one lamp a week from the charity shops. And I've always been really fussy with lamps to the point where I haven't bought any because they're never quite right. So I've thrown away that attitude and just gone, let's just buy lamps kind of the opposite of my approach with furniture. Just buy whatever you can that's like fine for now, bring it home, and then over time you can upgrade them, you know? But just having a lamp as a placeholder kind of thing. Approach, like the placeholder approach. Let's call it the placeholder approach. Now, the interesting thing that ends up happening with lamps is that you go, yeah, this will do, and you bring it home and go, well, this actually looks quite good, and you, you're happy with it. This lamp is a great example of this. And what is good about this lamp is it's huge. It's a really, really big lamp. And big lamps tend to look good. But you can see here how big, like this lamp is compared to the size of my hand. It's a big, it's a big lamp. It's also got a smart bulb in it. All of my lamps have smart bulbs in it and they're on timers because there's no way I probably have I don't know, 20 or 30 lamps around the house now. There's no way I could go around every day turning on 30 lamps and then turning off 30 lamps. So the smart bulbs are really good. They're really easy. And, and the good thing about the smart bulbs that I've been using is you can also get smart plugs, which like work in the same family ecosystem with them. And the reason why you want smart plugs is because sometimes you get a lamp that won't, that has a funny bulb and it's not gonna be compatible. And so these floor lamps that I've bought that are very simple and otherwise sort of basic and unremarkable. These lamps have a bit of a vibe about them. They add a little bit of light in the corner of a room and they can still work with the timer even though they have funny bulbs. Just having them on a timer is enough to like improve my life, you know? Also this little arrangement here of crispy hydrangeas, uh, they're not thrifted, but they were from my garden. From my little hydrangea plant out there, which is currently, you know, coming back to life. Um, it ha it's so big and has so many flowers. And so at the end of the season, I just literally cut them and put them in here and they've dried. Okay, so I've just literally just like piled them in there. I still need to like arrange them, but there's still plenty of flowers on the bush. Like I could probably do two or three of these really with the amount of flowers that are still on here. Look, there's so many. So you may have also seen the video I did about this console table. This was Facebook Marketplace and it was free, I'm pretty sure. And I just painted it with a black stain just to make it a little bit fresher. 
The lamps also were Facebook Marketplace. I can't remember how much they were, but they're just a nice, simple, neutral lamp. This is another Facebook Marketplace find. Uh, this is a lovely table. It was about a hundred pounds. It's got all of these details, like it's sort of like a dark wood with these beautiful, like carved details. It's very nice. I really, really like it. And I've put it in my entryway where also we've got that frame that I made, which I need to fix the art is falling down. And I need to, there's usually a plant here, but I'm in the process of getting a new one. This is another charity shop one. I think it was five pounds. And this is the thing with the lamps is you look at it and you go, oh, it's, it's nice enough. It's like a neutral, nice lamp. It's not the best thing ever in the world, but like there used to be nothing there. So something's better than nothing. This one, I also made a video where I showed this. Look, it's a bit of like a grisly situation down there with the PowerPoints, but it's just, it's ridiculous. We have a PowerPoint there for the internet, but the internet cable's on the other side of the door. So we have to have, look, we have to have this, like the cables in order to get power over here. So I got to put a plant there or something, but this table itself is lovely. And actually that camera I bought, I bought at a market in Spain. Um, it works. I have... I've just got to finish off the roll before I get it developed. But I did, I did do a video of that market in Mallorca, so I'll leave a link to it below. This is another lamp that I thought was quite unremarkable, but I got it and it's nice enough. It's actually from a bit of a premium brand called Coach House Interiors. So this little table is an interesting one. This is not necessarily what I would normally pick. However, I was given a task and that was Perry requested a side table that was exactly the same height as the sofa. So I just went on eBay and had a little look and this had exactly the right dimensions. Now this is from a brand, a British brand, I think it is, called Rocket St. George, something like that. It turns out I sort of stumbled upon accidentally they have like an outlet on eBay. So I got this for 50 pounds when normally this would be 250 pounds, but it gets better because it was 50 pounds with free shipping. So it's, it's just so cheap. Like I don't even think you could get something. I think that's turning into sort of like Ikea prices, but it's like a nicer piece than that. So the style is not necessarily my vibe, but it's like being a game changer having a side table here. And now I want to find one for the other side because, you know, we just don't have very good storage things going on in this living room because the sofa's in the middle because there are no walls in this room. Every side of the room has doors. It's like a really chaotic room, just doing my best. And sort of that brings me also to the sofa. We bought this on Facebook Marketplace. We used to have a very nice one that was fabric. I really recommend if you want a nice, neutral, lovely sofa. People used to always compliment us on it. But when Alfie got to a certain age, we had to accept that fabric wasn't going to be practical anymore. So we got rid of it, although I stuffed it up. I thought I listed it for 500 pounds on Facebook Marketplace, but I actually listed it for 50 pounds. And so the person turned up and I was like, oh yeah, so it's 500 pounds. And he was like, it's 50. And he'd like hide a van and stuff. And I was like, oh... That was my mistake. So that guy got a really good deal. Um, but so I got this. So uh, I'm just not really a leather sofa kind of person, but I thought if I get white, maybe it feels a little bit more luxurious. I don't know. It's fine. Like it's certainly practical and it's fine for now. It was so cheap. It's just one of those things that you got to accept when you've got a little kid that you just got to be practical. This is another one of my new favorite purchases. This chair was on Facebook Marketplace. I think I paid about 300 pounds for it. Now, certain people are going to recognize this chair because it is like a famous chair. This is a replica. So I only paid about 300 pounds for this. If it were real, it would be worth thousands of pounds, but I'm happy with my little replica. It is like a design thing. Design people know about it and like it. And I've always liked it and remembered it ever since I first saw it. So to have one myself is really great. And it is just the most comfortable chair. I sit in this all the time. It's in the playroom. Like this is my view from the chair. Quite chaotic, but you know, it's nice to sit in a designer chair while you watch your kid make a mess. 
<laughs> so yeah, I love it. It does have this little ball as the footstool, which is joined to it. I don't like the footstool, to be quite honest. It's not that practical, but I get it's part of the design of it. But I sit in this chair all the time and I really, really love it and highly recommend. This is not actually the first one that I saw on Facebook Marketplace. This is the second. I originally was gonna buy a pair of them that were the red and white stripe. And I think I like the red and white stripe more, but the, the I don't know, it fell through for some reason. So then I got this one. Um, I'm still happy with this, but I would have loved the red ones. But I think that they're more common than you think they are. So definitely worth searching. I'll put the details of the name of this chair. And if I can find one online, I'll link to it as well. And if you feel like having a look at the authentic one, I'll link to that as well. And also this fireplace sort of was thrifted. I made this, but the structure that I used was a secondhand fireplace structure. So I made a video about how I did it. I'll link to that video below. But yeah, inside there is a thrifted thing. And then I've made the fireplace look like this. I feel like with my style, I don't mind a bit of like a kooky moment like that and like this chair or like this lamp, which is also a thrifted lamp underneath all the things that I've done to it. But yeah, sometimes I like a bit of a kooky sort of design moment and then other times I like more organic things. I feel like I sit somewhere between there or I probably just go between those two places. Our dining table also was on eBay. This is from a brand called Barker and Stonehouse. And even this tablecloth that I've been embracing lately, this was like three pounds from the charity shop. And so the reason why I'm having a tablecloth at the moment is because I have ruined this table absolutely ruined it. You can see the evidence of, mostly it was my gold tapestry project that just completely ruined it. So yeah, that's something that I've got to fix. Also, you can see in this room that it has become a playroom and you know, that's life. At least I've got my cool chair over here. But another thing that is an interesting thing to think about when thrifting especially like Facebook Marketplace is a good place for this, is plants. That Bird of Paradise plant I got on Facebook Marketplace for a hundred pounds and it's going strong. I think I've had it for over two years now, maybe closer to three years. And yeah, it's great. So I move pretty quickly. I got another side table for the other side of the sofa. Here it is. The requirement is to be that same similar height to the sofa. This was only £16 from the charity shop. It's so cheap and it's like a nice little classic thing. It's a bit shabby, but I don't mind things like that. And so I can just sit here now with this table here. I don't think this is what will live here forever. I just think that for now it's a good little solution and at some point it'll have another life elsewhere, but now it's just on rotation. Now this little lamp is an interesting purchase. I literally got this yesterday. This is not the lampshade that is supposed to go with it. It came without a lampshade. Let me show you what it looks like without the lampshade because this is how I bought it. I just happened to have this lampshade lying around. So it's just what I'm using for now. I've got to get a better one. So this is the way that I bought it. So it has like these nice sort of fittings. But the interesting thing about this lampshade is when I was at the charity shop, I saw, I saw that it was from Ralph Lauren and I thought, oh yeah, that's good. Anyway, I reversed image searched it and there's a similar one on first dibs currently for 360 pounds. I only paid six pounds for mine. So that's pretty cool. I've just got to get a better lampshade. It's obviously not the right thing for this, but like whatever. Also this frame was actually from eBay. Cute little vintage frame. I'm in the market for more actually, but I find that there's something that is really mass produced and you can really go wrong with them. And there are some that are just stunning and some that are just not. And I like this one. I'm really happy with my little frame like this. Just need to hang it properly. This I recently got as well from a charity shop. 
it's really beaten up. It's an oval mirror and I haven't quite found the right spot to put it. Like it's just sort of sitting here in my sort of waiting area of <laughs> things that I don't know where to put. But I just kind of like this look that it has and I'm just gonna try and find the right spot for it. it. It's got a good vibe about it. Oh, and this is another interesting find. I need to find a base for this. This was five pounds and it is made of, and it's made of shell. I think that this could be a really cool lamp once I find the right base for it. One of my absolute favorite pieces of furniture I have is this chest of drawers, which I got on Facebook Marketplace. This originally had a dark stain on it and I decided to try out the oven cleaner method to strip the stain from it. I made a whole video about it, so I'll link to it below, but I'm just so happy with how this turned out. I really think this is a beautiful piece of furniture. It's got a lot of detail to it and it is now my bedside table and I just, love it so much. It was such an easy project as well. It's definitely worth giving it a go if you're interested in doing it because it just worked so well and it just brought this back to life, I think. So before I leave you, I just wanna share with you a few of the things that I'm looking for at the moment. I'm looking for mirrors and frames generally. I'm also looking for interesting, unique pots for my plants. I'm looking for some antique breadboards and anything else that really is just unique, you know, things that you haven't really seen before. I'm also currently working on making a rustic woodland themed outdoor play area for Alfie. And I'm trying to keep it more organic rather than like plastic kid toy aesthetic. So I'm kind of looking for anything that inspires me with that, that goes along that vibe for that area. So yeah, let's see how I go with these things that I'm looking for. I'm also just kind of interested in whatever inspires me as I stumble upon things as I look. So follow me on Instagram if you want to see how I go with everything. I'll keep you posted and I'll see you in the next video.